we are going to go into product number four. And I know we have the inventor on here. I'm so happy to have you here, Katerina. Um, because as I said earlier on, and I know some people jump on late, so I just want to mention again, uh, there she is. And Katerina, I think, well, I'm going to get into everything that you're doing. I think it's so cool. I've spent some time on on your website and on your social media. So I got I got a good sense of all that you're doing and I love it so much. Um, so thank you for being here. And I love having different kinds of products on. And I think tonight is a great example of that. We have, you know, from the from the tooth flosser to the pet product to the one I'm getting ready to show you now to the athletic uh, torch ring product. So many, so many great ones. But this one is a card game. I love games. I love board games. It's my favorite family thing to do. I look forward to the holidays when I get to hold my family captive and make them play games with me. My favorite game for the record, I'm curious if anybody likes this game too, is, um, oh my gosh, now I'm going to forget it. I'm picturing the, Jen, what is it? I'm picturing the box and I can't even think of it. Oh my gosh. I said it. Oh God, I, I'll, it'll come to me. But tonight, my favorite game is this one. This is Off the Record. And I love how simple this is. I love her, her uh, packaging is really high quality and just so simple, but so vibrant. I, I love the colors, Katarina, that you chose. And inside, what I love about this game is the reason that she created it, that I, at least what I gathered on, on your website, Katarina, is that she herself felt challenged with sort of emotional intimacy when she was in larger groups. And so she created this game as a way to take small talk, um, really to get the conversation started and to make it easy to either kind of have small talk or turn it into deeper conversations where you can really connect with people on a deeper level. And I love that because we're all different and some people are really comfortable with that. And you're showing up at a party or at a, a dinner, you know, a small dinner gathering or something is really easy for some of us. And for some of us, it's not so easy and it actually could be terrifying. And to have a card game like this, that just kind of sits on the cocktail table, sits it, or maybe you have it on your dining room table or on the buffet where it's just kind of there, or it's, it's so compact. It's one of those, you could have it in your purse, you could have it in your pocket. And it's that kind of a card game that gets the conversation started. I think it's a really fun hostess gift to give to or host gift to give. Uh, so when you're going to a party, just to kind of bring this and it's super, super simple. Each card, she's done a gorgeous job with the photography. It's all um, original photography. Just want to show you some of it because they're all different and they're just so nicely done. There you go. And you can see it all up close if you go to her website more of that. But on the other side, what you're seeing is that there are two sets of questions. And the one on top is a little more small talkish. So it's a little more surface level. So if that's where you're comfortable being, so be it. But if you want to go a little deeper, the one on the bottom takes it to a more, um, a deeper emotional level. Let's see. Thank you so much, creative director. Oh, okay. Um, I thought, never mind. Okay, so let me just give you an example. I just picked one out, and this one says, explain your job to a kid. And it gets so simple, but think about that. I think that's actually super clever because we all, I find so many times when I'm, when you're out to dinner with people and they're talking about work, everyone tries to use those big words. And half the time, I don't know what they're talking about. Um, I am comfortable saying, I, I don't, what do you mean by that? So what do you do every, what does that mean? Like, what does your day look like if that's what your job is? Um, and so I think that's what she's getting at with that question of, is, is what do you really do? And can you explain it on a, a you know a more novice level? And so that would be one that's more surface level. And then she goes a little deeper with the bottom question and says, would you rather find or create your dream job? That's a little more thought provoking, right? Um, and you can go a little bit deeper on that. And just to give you a couple other examples, top level question, what's the best gift you ever received? And so that's just kind of a fun one where I can see people going around the table and, you know, really thinking of it and, and getting the conversation started. And then a little deeper, how do you treat people who can't do anything for you? Ooh, that is interesting. And you know, what's really cool about these questions is they're really harmless, safe questions to ask. So there aren't questions in here that 
you have to kind of go through them all to make sure that if your boss was there or if your mother-in-law was there, questions that you shouldn't ask. So she really put a lot, a lot of thought into these questions to make sure that they were tame enough for kind of any situation, but yet thought provoking and deep enough to get the conversation started. So I think it's really, really fun. Renee chimed in saying, great idea for your introverted friends, for sure. Great idea for anybody. I mean, just kids, adults, anybody, people you know really well, people you've never met before. So a fun, fun um, gift to give, fun thing for you to have. What Katarina's done that I was mentioning earlier is if you go to her website, you will see that she really is kind of creating a whole world around Off the Record, where she does live streaming from her TikTok channel, from Instagram, and kind of goes around. I didn't, Katarina, have time to watch those quite yet, but I want to. I'm going to. But I'm curious, is it, are you taking questions from these cards and kind of going out into the public and asking them and kind of getting the conversation started? Because that's where, where my mind was with it. And she's got merch and just different things that really allow people to, to feel comfortable in expressing themselves. And she's just done it in such a clever way. And, and her photography, everything about it is just so well done. Um, so let's see here. Great to get conversation started. Definitely people love to talk about themselves, <laughs> Lisa. That's funny. Yes, they do, don't they? Um, and so this is a way to maybe, yeah, this would get people talking about themselves, but also hopefully about other people too. Anyway, very clever, very cute little gift to give. Uh, I wish there was time to get it for Valentine's Day because I think this could be fun at like a little family valentine. We always do, um, I'd be curious what everybody else does for Valentine's. We have a tradition with our kids. We don't go out to a fancy dinner, my husband and I, for Valentine's Day. We do... Um, Family style, we do heart-shaped grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. That has been our tradition for years and play games and things like that. So guess what we'll be playing tomorrow night? So I will report back on that one. So thank you, Katarina, again for being here. You guys give her a high five, a thumbs up, buy her product. This is affordable. This is um, with a discount, it's $22.80. I love that under 25 price point because this is that item that you can get a bunch of them and kind of have them on hand and you could put them in a little cellophane bag put a, or just put a little bow around it. And it's kind of that gift in a pinch, hostess gift, birthday gift, Valentine gift, you name it. And you've got it there. <laughs> 